Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. Today we're going to talk about three sneaky ways to manage your Pinterest account if you have multiple accounts. And I have three, so I'm going to continually say three that I use consistently. Um, but you may just have two. This works for that. You could have 12 and it works for that too. So the first way is to use Google users. And what this is, is in your Chrome, you're going to have different users set up in your browser. So it's this one up here. So this is my Tara Jacobson, which is my pterodactyl at gmail.com account. I also have an artsy fartsy Pinterest, which is awesome. Um, and then I have all different ones and you can toggle back and forth. This one's way off the side. You can't see it. You can toggle back and forth between your different accounts and you can have different startup tabs and things like that. So that is one way. Um, and the reason it's so good is, and I'll show you this, is that you're logged in. So on this one, I'm all logged into Pinterest for my artsy fartsy. On this one, this is amazing. I'm logged into all my e-commerce sites on, so this isn't even for Pinterest. This is so that I'm logged into my Etsy shop and into my eBay shop. I can do all that. So the Google users is super handy to use. The second way is to use it within, so that was in the Chrome browser. The second way is to be in your Google, or you're in your actual Pinterest account. So with that, you're going to have different ones that you can toggle back and forth between. So I was in my Paperly People, now I'm in my Artsy Fartsy one, I could go back to my Tara Jacobson, and it keeps you logged in, you can do everything you want, you can see your analytics if you have a business account, and you can also do this on the phone. It's a little bit weirder, you click on your person, in the top right you'll see a gear, and then once you click the gear, then you can go to switch accounts. I tend to use it on my iPad, which works really well because it's a little bit bigger to see and you can do more. But um, that works super well. You have to set it up on your uh, browser, on your desktop, and then you also have to set it up on your phone or your iPad. The last way is to use different browsers all together. So I am a Mac user. So I could have my Tara Jacobson logged into Safari and then be able to see all my stuff and then say use Chrome for one and use Firefox for one. I did that when I first started before I knew especially about Google users and it works. It's a little bit more kerfuffly and hard to do because you have to set up all the the parts of it, like all the extensions and the pin it buttons and things. I don't like it nearly as well as having different users. And now you may be thinking by having different users, you want to know how to kind of manage that and make sure that you're pinning enough, you're doing all that. Well, I want to start by showing you what I do to have all my pins ready to go. I batch them using Canva. And then I have posts that I could post to um, Artsy Fartsy Life. So these are like my video pins that I don't want to um, that I don't want to have to do. These are just little special pins, like I did a bunny um, journal page, and so I can just post any of these extra pins for my desktop organizer. I haven't pinned those yet, so. Those are in my artsy fartsy. I have ones I can post to Marketing Artfully. Now this is fun. So I already posted one that looks like this, but it was a shorter pin. So while I was doing my Canva, I just made taller pins. And if this one does good in the shorter version, of course, I can just come in here and share that one. Last but not least, I want to show you, oh, I have two things, sorry. I want to show you how I do this in my calendar. Um, because I want to schedule out like my second pins, my third pins, things like that. So in the I calendar, and I think it works somewhat like this in the Google calendar, I copy and paste the information and then I have this, the, the pin all ready to go. So I don't have to go to a folder. I don't have to do anything weird. 
It's super fast to do, so let's see one of our pins that we have to do today. Okay, marketing art artfully second pin for wedding. So I would go to Pinterest. I would say create a pin. I would say go to my calendar. Drag it over. I have my stuff all written out already. If I didn't have to keep moving it back and forth for you guys, it would be a lot faster. I have my stuff already. I can just plop that in there for right this second. Take this out, put this in here. Take this out, put this in here. If I wanted to change my um, title a little bit, I could change my title. So I could say, um, how to affiliate marketing tips and ideas for wedding pros. Okay, that does not match my pin, so that's good. Um, and then I just, I always pin my first one to um, my main board. I've found over the years that that does the best. And then I just hit publish, okay? So that is how I manage doing all the different pinning if I, so on my calendar, you'll see I have an artsy fartsy pin to do. I would just switch over my Google user account to my artsy fartsy Pinterest, hit create pin and do it that way. Last but not least is my Pinterest pins to share. So I have really been tracking which pins work. I don't want to keep pinning stuff that doesn't work. And this will work whether you're using the Tailwind schedule or your manly pinning. So what I do is I have one air table with all the different pins. So a paperly pins, marketing artfully pins and that. And then I just have it sorted by which pins to check. And I already checked this morning. It took just a couple minutes. But what I'll do is I will click on this. Oh, we're in, we're in artsy fartsy. So we have to, this is the thing about switching users, right? So we're in artsy fartsy. We have to be in artsy fartsy so we can see the stats on it, right? I want to see if this is doing any good. Now I pinned this not that long ago, um, but one click and one link click and only 500 impressions is probably less than I would go ahead and schedule or even manually repin because it doesn't seem like enough. Um, so that is how I manage all my multiple Pinterest accounts using three different tricks. Hopefully it helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.